Hi, this is Pastor Jordan Counts for Park Avenue Baptist Church in El Dorado, 1101 South Arthur Street. Uh, I hope you are staying cool today. For a Bible study, I did this last week and put it on a YouTube, but discovered that uh, when I did this, how I recorded it, everything was backwards. So we're going to do a little uh, just reminder of how to get around the Bible. Uh, it's a fresher course for some of you, and perhaps some of you are just starting to get into the Bible. This might be helpful and make it less uh, daunting. Uh, someone has said the first time you do something is a little scary uh, because you don't know. But uh, God wants us to get into his word, and I encourage you every time you do to say, God, show me what you want me to see today when I open your word. Um, so I want to encourage you. I'm going to offer a word of prayer and this give you some basics how to get around the Bible and how to get around a Bible app. Because that's, uh, yeah, we're, we're virtual today. Um, because I'm working actually in my kitchen right now, but it's so hot uh, that I come out, I stay here to work so I can stay cool and not have to try to cool my whole office, which is a little challenging when it's this hot out in a brick building. So let's pray. Father God, I thank you for this time together with your word and with those who would join me. I ask for your Holy Spirit to be upon this time, that you would touch the lives the souls, the, the homes of everyone who's uh, receiving this now, and whenever they receive it, either uh, the first time I, I put it up or the second time, I pray, Lord, that you would uh, send your Holy Spirit to be upon each home that views this so that they may receive from you the living presence of Christ through your word. As, they, as, you, as we read and study. For these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. This is a real brief outline of how to get around the Bible. I grabbed my, I didn't grab my large print, so it'll be a little harder to see, but uh, in the Bible, we have uh, 66 books. And uh, every Bible you pick up will have a, some sort of a concordance in front. I mean, a index in front. There we go. And not very far in, uh, depends on, depending on the Bible, whether it's a study Bible or a, a basic Bible, I would encourage you to uh, get a standard translation as well as a, a paraphrase. So a, par a paraphrase is, very helpful to as a first step interpretation having a uh, a standard translation like the NIV NRSV uh, English Standard Bible and I can show you some other ones are closer um, to the original translation. This is just one example. Uh, you will find in most Bibles a little. Uh, guidelines of what's available this has a history of the bible how the library uh, how the library of the books of the bible took shape in the old testament uh, our story our challenge uh, the new testament and then uh they have some anyway some some summaries they have this one has a little section on the authority of the bible um it's the breath of god more than more than the biblical authority, uh, the word of God, the importance of the centrality of scripture in any person who studies the Bible. Uh, it talks This one talks about the received tradition, experience, reason, and a summary. And I want to read the summary before I get into the, to the, uh, the, the table of contents, so to speak. Summary, the life of a Christian is to be lived in response to the gracious love of God. We learn of that love in the scripture, especially in the gospel story of the birth, life, ministry, um, 
ministry, suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus of Nazareth. We are supported in our faith by the witness of all those who have gone before us and who have shaped the tradition we have received in our lives. When we know the empowerment of love, we verify in our own experience the truth of the Christian message. In ready, in reading scripture, in responding to the tradition, in interpreting our experience, we employ the power of reason. But in all things, reason, experience, and tradition are focused on what God has made known in scripture. One thing, so I don't have the sounds recorded live. So it doesn't have things popping up like that. All right. Again, you find uh, most Bibles will give you some basic this one has a, a little about the geography of Palestine where Jesus first traveled. It also has the major themes of scripture. Uh, this good world, the human creature, special and spoiled. God's concern for humanity. He makes a covenant. God in goodness and mercy. God is love. The tri triune God. God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, but one God. The personal work of Christ through incarnation, atonement, resurrection, uh, the healing of humanity, and God's amazing grace, justification by faith, faith and works, the Holy Spirit. And I, I'm not going to read all this for you, but I, I want to let you know that there's even, most Bibles have a guide of how to study the bible this is a, this one has both a a uh, three page version and then it, it uh, gives you a short plan to study the bible so there there is things you can do yourself this has eight things you can go through on uh, taking a bible passage all right what i wanted to get to before i leave here is um every Every translation will have the books of the Bible. And there, I'm disappearing there. But the Old Testament or First Testament, some have said in the New Testament. And there will be a abbreviation as well as a page number in the particular Bible you're reading. And just to let you know, I'm going to flip over here to a New Testament. So I'll show you what an address looks like. One of the most well-known passages is John 3.16. But how do you find that? Well, you look in the front the table of contents. If it's not, you don't have it uh, memorized like that. And you look up here at the top of the corner of a page. You look up there, it says John 2.19. So that's the address uh, that starts, this page starts at John 2.19. And the next page goes all the way to John 4, 35. So you know that John 3, 16 will be uh, in between there. But again, coming back to this John 2, uh, the first number is the book of that particular book of the Bible. And the 19 is the verse. When you uh, read a, a devotional or something, they will often give you an address or a section of scripture to read. And this is what you're looking for. There we go. All right. I also wanted to show you before I go to the, oh, and most Bibles uh, will have a map, some colored, some black and white, that uh, tell you about where actually the, the people writing the Bible, including Jesus, uh, where they were in their travels in the New Testament. And it's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, if, it, if it's helpful to know, at some point in time, you might study the books of the Bible. Some people put them in categories. I'm going to see if I can show that up there. Here we go. And you can go to almost any, uh, see if it'll let me. Uh, 
I'm going to share my screen and see if this will work. And that allow me to show you a different page. Share. See, this is, uh, you can go on, I did this in Google Images and typed in books of the Bible by category. And this is what uh, um, you'll see there, books of the Bible. I don't know if I can get that to get large or not. Nope. No, I just copied it. And they have all these are the same things, books of the Bible, and you can print one of those off. They're in black and white or, or color. But this one right here that I'm going to leave right there for a minute, it says books of the Bible, New Testament and Old Testament. Let's see if it'll let me. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to read in the Old Testament, I think they're big enough for you to see that. It starts with the books of the law, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. The first five books are also called the Pentateuch, you'll hear that talked about. Um, the second group of books in the Old Testament, or the First Testament, is the second shelf there. And we have Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings. First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther. Those are the books of history. They recount some um, events of the Jewish people. Um, and you'll find those in there. There's also a lot of prophetic words, even though they don't call them prophet, that prophetics, books that uh, point towards Jesus. There are lots of hints in there. The next shelf there on the left-hand side, where I'm looking at history, it says, is uh, there's, oh, that was history. Next shelf down is poetry, which they have classified as Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs. Some translations have that as Song of Solomon. Major prophets are Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, and Daniel. That's on the shelf uh, with poetry. And the basic difference of why they call a major and minor prophets and the next shelf down or the last shelf in the Old Testament is the length of the book. And so the minor prophets are Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Haggai Zechariah, and Malachi. And you go over to the other side, if you can see this, this is the New Testament. Um, I will look that up in a minute. Amber, Amber Alert came in. Um, over here we have the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then church history in the New Testament. They just, that's where they put Acts, the things that were done. Uh, the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are also called the synoptic. Uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke are the synoptic gospels, and John is evangelist, has more of why, who Jesus was and why he came. Down below on the second shelf of the New Testament, we have the letters. Uh, we have a bunch of letters. Colossians, Ephesians, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians. Philippians and Colossians. And some of these are attributed, most of these are attributed to Paul or those he uh, wrote and traveled with. First and second Thessalonians, first and second Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. More letters at the bottom, bottom shelf. Hebrews, James, first and second Peter, first, second, and third John and Jude, and then Revelation. That's a prophetic. Uh, literature of the New Testament. And these letters, to give a short definition, were written initially as a response to a particular person or a church. And they were became such common literature that they became part of our canon. And then I can send that to you if you want. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop sharing. Now, let's see here. 
not sharing. Uh -huh. Not sharing. There, I'm back. Again, they're easy to find. <laughs> Pretty neat, it disappears. Books of the Bible. Uh, go on to a Google or a search engine and type in books of the Bible by category under images and you'll get that. I also wanted to show you Bible app. Many of us use Bible apps these days. Uh, this is my, my smartphone and I'm gonna come up here the one I use the most, let's see if I can get this to work. That brown book right there, it's called, it says Holy Bible. When you look it up in your app store, it's U version. And to open it up, you just tap on it. And most of the time, it goes to the home screen. And there's lots of information there, but I want to point out the very bottom of my screen. That's the most important uh, for me and giving you some instruction today. We have home read plans. You can uh, come up with your own reading plan by category or read through the whole Bible. Uh, Discover is, is kind of a search engine. And then there's more the menu. Uh, there's lots of things there that I'm not going to say a lot about today. But the main things I want to show you is to, to read the Bible. On a smartphone, if you put you download the U version Bible app in your in your store uh, where your apps are, search by, for U version, and right down here it says read, and above it's a little Bible, a little miniature Bible. If you tap on that, it pulls up the last place you were reading, and the last place I was reading it says Matthew seven. And it has the New Living Translation. Uh, NLT is the translation sin. And you can change that. Uh, I am going to try a different background just to make it perhaps easier to show you. This is a chapel uh, in called uh, Spurgeon Chapel. But here, here we go. At the bottom, we have the Bible. Right here is the book of the Bible. If you tap on that, all the books of the Bible come up. And the default is they, they come in the same order as they are in a, in a Bible like this. And so you can go through there. And across the top, it says, uh, book chapter and verse so i'm going to turn this around for a minute i don't think I, it'll stay up there I, and i'm going to tap on i i can scroll you can scroll up and down oops you can scroll up and down to find the different all 66 books of the bible There's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Tap on John, then it has, pops up 21 chapters. And if I'm a particular verse, I'm looking for John 3.16, I go over and tap on three. And then they got all the, ver all the verses in that chapter, including 16, which is right. I'm reading this backwards. Yeah. Boop. John 3.16. For, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. So that's, um, and there's on the, again, the little three digit, <laughs> the three digit there in LT, that's the, uh, it's short for New Living Translation. You can tap on that, and all the translations that are available, and there's a number of them, including different languages. Um, there we go. 
and you can choose one and it'll pop up and be it'll be there for you to see i just encourage you to uh, take some time and if you want to uh, get together sometime and give you a, a personal lesson i'd be happy to do that again the phone number is 316-323-5858 that's Park Avenue Baptist Church. We are located at 1101 South Arthur in El Dorado, Kansas. Jesus loves you. Uh, thanks for spending time with me. I pray that you will go back to your Bible and say a prayer, something like this. God, I know this is from you. Show me one thing that you want me to know and understand today in my heart and in my mind, in my spirit. Uh, Jesus loves you. I'd love to talk to you soon. Uh, take care.